Hey people, Demon here, and today I am reviewing Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Cretaceous? Uh, season 2. Um, there will be spoilers, but really quickly, spoiler free, it was very good. The animation uh, was on par, if not slightly better than the last season. There was some goofs in it here and there, though, uh, but not very many, but I did see some. Um, the voice acting was on par with last season, uh, so that's it's pretty good still. The plot line, eh, the plot line, some parts were a little bit too predictive, a little bit predictable, um, but it's still pretty good, and there's still a lingering mystery that we haven't solved yet. But yeah, plot line, it's it's good still, but. It's a little bit predictable. Um, and characters just the same as last time, except they're growing more and more each day, and they're getting better. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. <laughs> uh, so, spoiler-free, it's pretty good. Okay, now into spoilers. Hey, just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. Okay, so spoiler alert here, guys. So basically, this leaves off where we left off, where our campers are alive and trying to find a way off the island. They find a special beaker in a book, they turn it on, and then they wait for rescue. They receive, uh, well, they wait for rescue, and as they wait for rescue, they go and they create a treehouse sort of thing uh, where they live at. Uh, as of right now, at least in this moment, they live in this tree house, which I'm sure they'll go back to probably. I'm not super sure. I'm just thinking they'll probably go back to it. So they live in this tree house. There are still all these dangerous dinosaurs all around. And then they meet some people that they think came to save them. Um, but these people are evil, and it's very predictable to say the least. It's very predictable to say these people are evil. They're porchers. They're just here to kill dinosaurs, and they're willing to leave the kids there because they don't want to get caught by the cops, I guess, because poachers are... I guess poaching is illegal, so yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so they're willing to leave the kids there, but the kids don't know that, but one of the people is actually a good guy who ends up quote-unquote dying, but we didn't see his death on screen, so he still might be alive. Um, But yeah, there is a good guy in there. But he ended up quote-unquote dying, but we didn't see his death, so he could still be alive. Uh, and then we finally meet the boy that we thought died, the best character. Uh, he is back, and he is... Basically, he turned into a, a total cool guy. <laughs> He's just been through all this stuff, and he has Lumpy, I think her name is, the dinosaur... And they've been through all this stuff, and now they're together, and they're kicking butt. It's actually pretty cool. They actually fought against Toro, I think the dinosaur's name was. The evil dinosaur from last season that kept on following them. So yeah, she, he's together with with uh, Toro, and they defeated that dinosaur. And now they're back together with the main group after being alone for such a long time. And he's kind of snapped into like to the fact that he's like, in hunting mode, pretty much. <laughs> So yeah, we have him back. And then at the end, we find out that the bad guys are bad. They all want to they just want to kill Mon they just want to kill dinosaurs. Our main characters try to stop them, which they do succeed in stopping them. Um with the T-Rex's help and such. So they end up stopping the bad guys. And then the bad guys end up kind of splitting off. One well, they both die off screen, supposedly, but one is definitely alive. The husband is definitely alive. He was almost getting eaten by the T Rex, but at the end, we kind of saw like the rope cut or snapped or something like that. So, either that means the T Rex ate him or it means that he escaped somehow. And I'm assuming he might have escaped since we saw his death off screen. So, he might have escaped or he might have got eaten. I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> and then the female bad guy. She uh, escaped with the boat, 
And then we assume she got eaten by dinosaurs, but again, we didn't see it on screen because they're not going to show a death on screen, but I think her death is for real. I do think her death is for real, but then again, we didn't see it on screen, so she might be alive. But I think her death is for real, and it leaves us an option because that boat is still by the island. So if the kids can somehow realize that boat's there because they don't know it's there right now, but if they realize that boat's there, they can perhaps get off the island, which is a very interesting possibility. <laughs> and then we have a mystery. We have the mystery of what happened and, and, and the corporation that's all doing the bad stuff. And there's an underground lab that our, one of the main characters saw, and she probably is going to go down there at some point in season three or so. Uh, because there's probably going to be a season three. This is definitely bait for season three because they're still stuck on the island. So pretty good so far. It's it's pretty good. And it seems like next season will be just as good. And we have some plot points that we're going to need to, to address. First off, the beacon was quote unquote re received, but no one ever showed up. Um... We still have the count counselors from last season saying they're going to come back for the kids. We have the mystery of what's in the door and what, what was happening. All this stuff was happening. What was happening? So we have all that stuff to answer. Plus, obviously, the main goal is how are the kids going to get off the island? So that's, how, that's all the stuff we have to answer right now. Well, all the stuff that we have to think about answering right now. So it's going to be very interesting to see what the answer is and what's going to happen. <laughs> It'll be very interesting indeed. Um, and there was like a reference there, if I'm not mistaken, to Jurassic World, the first one. Uh, not Jurassic Park, but Jurassic World. Uh, to be honest, I haven't watched any Jurassic World movies, uh, at least not yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there is a reference there to the first Jurassic World movie, I guess. In the very beginning, where like there's like a fight took place or something, it's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, so far, uh, it's pretty good, and I kind of want to watch the next one because it's gonna be pretty interesting to see what happens. Because obviously, these are kids that have to work together to stay alive, but they also fight and bicker somewhat because you know they're kids. And now we have one of our characters back. It's pretty cool. And now we might have bad guys on the island. Well, at least one bad guy. Um, and we might have one good guy because he might still be alive too. I don't know though. <laughs> but anyways, so, so far, pretty good show and I can't wait to watch the next one. Um, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Link down below to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. That's the best way to keep up with my channel. And remember, my friends, stay sane. Peace. Hey, guys. This video is meant for all ages, although I do have videos meant for the older variety. Check out my channel to watch those. But since it's meant for all ages and YouTube doesn't have a button to click for all ages, they only have younger or older, I have to click the younger because some stupid stuff will happen if I don't. But that means some uh, features are removed. Hopefully it still gets to everyone the same, young and old, but uh, that's beside the point. That means comments are no longer there. But don't worry, I have a Twitter, so you can go down to the link below to my Twitter and uh, comment on that because there will be a tweet about this video. So yeah, go down there. And go to my Twitter. <laughs> Shut up, my baby. I love you so much. You're my baby. And you love to sleep in the bathtub. Because <laughs> you're a weirdo. Shadow, look. Look at your buddy. What's over here? <laughs>